Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, it's so so lovely to have you. Today I have my first pack with me video which is super exciting and hopefully the start of lots of like travel and travel related content on my channel. Um, I started filming really and uploading onto YouTube during like the pandemic so there hasn't been a great opportunity for travel. So we did go to Paris in December but that was obviously quite a cold and city break and this time we're going to Tenerife which is set to be really sunny, really good weather and which is obviously way more of like a pool, beach holiday, lots of like nice summery dresses and sandals so it's a completely different vibe. Maybe many of you can relate but a lot of my like summer wardrobe that I previously wore the last time I went on a summer holiday which was probably three three and a bit years ago either doesn't fit me or I don't particularly like or love anymore so a lot of the stuff I've got is new but yeah I've got some really nice new summery dresses and little sandals and bits and lots of nice new makeup and beauty products I'm taking with me as well so, so I thought I'd film a pack with me I haven't done one of these before as I said but hopefully you enjoy them and I thought it'd be interesting to kind of see how I pack and what I take with me and kind of some of my like summer holiday essentials things that I'm taking with me this trip, the new outfits I've got and what I'm going to be wearing whilst we're away. If you're going on a holiday soon or if you've got one planned, maybe it'll give you a little bit of inspiration for things that you could wear or maybe you'd just like to see what I'm going to take with me on holiday. So today's Monday, it's about five o'clock now and we fly on Wednesday afternoon so we basically got tomorrow as a full day but tomorrow evening we're going to the theatre which has all just kind of come at the same time so we've got a very very busy week and we've had a really busy weekend because it's bank holiday this weekend so we've been out all weekend. So I'm just spending kind of this evening and probably t a bit of tomorrow and also we've got Wednesday morning just packing and getting sorted. So I'm just kind of starting packing. I'm going to do the majority of packing tonight, all my shoes and clothes and things because obviously I won't need any of those things. So my plan is I've got my suitcase out behind me. I already put like most of the clothes and things that I want to take with me. So I'm going to go through them, make sure that I've got everything that I need and want. I know we'll need swimming costumes, things to just like lounge around in during the day and like cover ups. Beach, beachy dresses and then probably nicer dresses for the evenings when we're going out for dinners and exploring in like the local towns and stuff so that is the kind of vibe that I'm getting and um, we don't have any set plans at the minute I think we're going to try and make some reservations this evening this has all been quite last minute by the way we booked the holiday like three weeks less than three weeks ago so I've been trying to madly get a summer holiday wardrobe together so that's been a little bit tricky over the past few weeks but I've got some really really nice pieces and so we've placed a last minute order on ASOS, but that stuff isn't coming till tomorrow, so that's really leaving it last minute. We both realised we need some like beach side, pool side shoes, so like some sliders. I'm not really a big fan of flip flops personally, and neither is Chester. So we've both got ourselves a pair of sliders from ASOS, but they're not coming till tomorrow. One of the days we are going to Science Park, some people over on my Instagram recommended when they've been from their experience to wear like footwear. Some people have been saying to wear those like funny beach shoes that you can get water shoes but obviously we don't have any of them and they're not really a vibe and, and we asked some of our close friends who have been and they said they were absolutely fine just in flip-flops so fingers crossed we'll be okay with sliders but who knows until we're there but i am going to be vlogging the trip so we'll kind of keep you updated with how it is we don't have any kind of water camera or anything like that so i'm not sure how much vlogging we'll actually do at cyan park but obviously we can report back and let you know how it is and how our experience has been. I did a Amazon Prime order, which is just life-saving, isn't it? I just love Amazon Prime so much. Um, and got some little like bits that we needed. And we also did a trip just to the supermarket to Tesco. We got some travel money, which we didn't get much because we thought most things we'll be able to pay with on card. Um, and we probably don't need much, but just in case we needed anything for taxis or just cash at all, then we've got a little bit. So we did that as well and also just picked up some last minute like toiletry cosmetic bits that I needed. So I'll show you through those things first because they're like new things. So from Amazon, I got these little like dispenser bottles. I've not had these before, but they looked kind of good. Oh, actually they come with stickers. That's quite cute. I didn't realize that they came with stickers. But they're like these little bottles. They're all different colors. Um, and they've just got like a squeezable cap, silicone, so they're reusable. Um, so obviously I'll just use them for this holiday, but then I'll keep hold of these and just keep using them for holidays. Um, and we could, we definitely could take, and we'd have enough room to take like full size shampoos and conditioners, which we might do, I've not decided yet. Um, 
because I don't really have any travel size anything, but I might just decant some shampoo and conditioner. But the main reason I wanted this is basically I've been really suffering with my skin recently, which by the way is dramatically better. I'll show you one of the products I've been using. If you suffer with dry skin, if you've got like loads of breakouts, especially on your cheeks and you're not really sure why, and you might be upsetting like your skin's microbiome. And basically I was along with something else. I think I'd kind of had some sort of allergic reaction to something or the skin around my lips was really red, around my eyes, my eyes have been really sore. And there's been kind of two things alongside like just a really simple like cleanser that I've been using. Number one, I've been using this cream, which I'll show you in due course when I get all my cosmetics out. Um, and the other thing that I've been using is olive oil to remove my makeup, which some of you might be like, oh yeah, of course, like I do that or I use some sort of like coconut oil because it's not like completely wild. But I have never heard or met anyone that removes uses olive oil to remove their makeup but i was receiving some kind of advice off one of my friend's mums who is into skincare she has a skincare business which if you're local to the Leeds area you may be interested in i'll leave her details in the description um but she recommended for my really sensitive eyes which they've been really sensitive to start removing my eye makeup using olive oil if you try this at home Proceed with caution, always cleanse it off afterwards, don't use it as your only cleanser. Make sure you only use pure olive oil as well, don't get anything like chilli infused or because that would hurt or garlic infused or don't use like sunflower oil or anything like that, make sure it's pure olive oil. Um, but it has been working a dream, it melts off your makeup, it melts off your eye makeup so easily it's unbelievable like i couldn't believe how well it melted off my eye makeup and i've been using it now for a few weeks and my eyes along with this cream have been so much better and it's so cheap i got my bottle of olive oil like pure olive oil from aldi it cost me 89p so anyway long story short is that at the minute i'm literally using it out of like an olive oil decanter that we have in the kitchen um so i need something that i can decant it into takeaway because obviously i can't take that in my bag um funnily enough there is no label sticker with olive oil on it but i bought these little like travel bottles from amazon you get four the cute little pastel colors you get like a minty green and a blue and a white one and also a cute pink one i don't know if the camera's picking them up well but yeah they're cute little pastel colors so they're perfect for decanting olive oil or anything else body wash um creams body creams if you don't especially if you're going just like hand luggage these are 100 milliliters so they're perfect for decanting things into them i'm <laughs> probably gonna need to be a bit quicker because otherwise this video is gonna end up being very very long because i'm such a chatterbox but yeah they're really those little travel things are really cute i'll leave everything in the description that's available and new which quite a lot of my clothes are so i've just been thinking about it and i think when i show you through my clothes i will probably show you it like on the camera and then i'll put a try and clip with the outfit on so you can see what it's going to look like on me and then obviously i'll be wearing them in the travel vlog but um before we go and some of these outfits some of these outfits are really great if you just want them for like daily life like a lot of these things i'll just wear when we have nice days in the uk but some of them are definite some of them are definitely like more summer appropriate i've got some dry shampoo which is just a staple of mine especially at the minute because i'm using my heatless curler a lot so i just don't really need to wash my hair as much because i don't need to restyle it so i can often just like blow dry it once and i will i will wash it more on holiday because of the chlorine and stuff you know if we go to the water park my hair will inevitably get wet um but yeah i will be using dry shampoo on the days when i don't want to wash my hair or maybe i'm just putting it up or something clipping it back then definitely dry shampoo is a savior this one is batiste i honestly think this is one of the best ones especially for the price this was three pounds fifty for this big bottle this one's just cheap and cheerful and definitely does the job then we've got a big bottle of deodorant i use this as well i'm not even ashamed to say like i always use this deodorant as well as trasta we just always share I think it's just more effect men's deodorant just seems to be more effective and i love the smell of it so we always share deodorant i got myself some rennies i often get heartburn and um with a lot of like drinking which we're probably going to be drinking quite a lot of alcohol maybe eating rich foods these are just needed for an emergency stock basically as part of our first aid kit so we'll probably take some like paracetamol the general things um that you need like in your first aid kit rennies are always in part of mine um i might not need them but when you need them if you've 
ever had heartburn once you get it it's so like painful and so hard to get rid of without like Rennie or Gaviscon or anything that it's just a savior when you've got them so they're definitely form part of my um kit and Chess needs some purities which again I'm not giving out medical advice online but we both find that whenever we're suffering with hay fever symptoms that we always take the purities allergy syrup rather than the tablets it just seems to be more effective i don't know if it's psychological or what but we've done this for a few years now this is literally made like suitable for children six years and over but it seems to work it can be taken as adults you just take two spoonfuls so yeah we've talked up on this i've already bought three bottles of this in the past two weeks got a new razor which i actually thought was good this one was from tesco it's like i don't know if it's like a tesco own brand but it's five blaze which i always find is necessary and you get two like heads with it which most of the others you didn't you only got one and this was six pounds and all the others were like seven eight nine pounds um, and you only got one so it's much better value and five blades so yeah it's not the most aesthetic raise you've ever seen but it's a feeling that it'll just definitely do the job and then finally got some of this avino body cream which is what i've been using on my face not the body cream the face alternative um which has literally saved my skin i have never been a dry skin sufferer but whatever is called kind of like whatever's caused like a bit of an allergic reaction or whatever it's been if you do suffer with dry skin or eczema um again this might be something worth trying or if you just have a bit of dry skin every now and again or if you have really sensitive skin this might be really good so i haven't tried the body cream yet um but I love the face one so much. I think this will be like the exact same, but just for your body. I just thought this would be really good like when we come out of the pool and stuff, instead of like after sun, we'll just put some moisturizer on. So they're the new bits that we've got and then everything else I'll just take that I already have. So I have started to write a bit of a list on my phone of things that I need. I take my Dyson Air Wrap with me because I'll need my hairdryer and Chester will want to use the hairdryer as well, even though the room will probably have a hairdryer. Um, but I'll definitely take my Dyson Air Wrap with me. That should work fine in Tenerife, I'm hoping. Um, and then I'm also going to take my heatless curler, which I'll be using near enough every night. Um, so I probably won't use my um, Dyson Air Wrap that much. Like th these curls today are with my heatless curler. So this is um, these heatless curlers are going to be launching on Truly Neutral Collection, which is my business if you don't know about it so they're going to be launching when we get back from holiday i was going to launch them before but obviously i wouldn't have been around to post them with the orders that we get and things like that so but i'll leave all the details in the description if you are interested um and you can sign up for the emails and you'll be the first to know obviously when they go live you can follow us over on instagram and i'll post obviously there when they go live as well they are amazing and then i also want my hair clips so i can like clip my hair back and um, the heatless curling kits do come with a clip so um, basically as long as I've got that and my scrunchies then I'll be set all of which shameless plug are from truly neutral collection so we've got like I want my silk scrunchies my hair clip and my heat this curler so I'll need some fake hand so I'll have to make a choice on which one I'm going to take with me a note that I'll also want perfume with me the thing is if I don't make a note for myself I end up forgetting the amount of times I go away on overnight stays or even go and stay at my mum's house and I forget to take my pyjamas is ridiculous like I went to stay at my mum's house the other day and she was literally like, the only thing you really needed to bring was pyjamas. And that's the only thing I forgot. It's ridiculous. So I need to make a list and note for myself that I need pyjamas. I don't really have many pyjamas at the minute. When we moved, I did like a huge clear out of pyjamas. I was probably a little bit ruthless with them because I now basically don't have any. So let's get to showing you what's in the suitcase. So as I say, most of the things are new. So most of them have got labels on them um, at the moment. But I will show you the item like this, I guess. And then I'll put a try and clip so you can see what it's like and what it looks like on. So first of all, I have this dress. A lot of the stuff I got is from Boohoo, which isn't usually much of a place I shop. I've got the occasional like gem from Boohoo, but it's not usually a place that I go to. But they had so much like... They had so many summery clothes that I was like, I'm just going to try and see. 
and I placed lo like quite a few different orders, big orders, and I've ended up keeping so many things. They've been a saviour. I honestly don't know what I would have done without getting these dresses from Boohoo because I wouldn't have had anything to wear. So first of all, I got this beautiful little red number, which I think is going to be perfect in Tenerife. It's really bright and really beautiful. It has like a cinching waist. So the dress itself is quite like oversized. I actually sized down in this, but it's quite oversized, but you pull it right in at the waist, which is nice. And it's also got a tie at the back so you can kind of keep it on your shoulders. It's not see-through, but it's not thick quality. It's quite like a floaty dress. Um, but obviously for the price point and also just like for what you want on holiday, I don't want to be wearing a thick dress then this is absolutely perfect. I love the colour. So that's the first dress. Again, this would be perfect for either like daytime or evening. Like if we go for a nice lunch, I could definitely wear this, but also if we go for like a nice evening meal, then that would work perfectly fine as well. And I also got the exact same dress, which is the one that I actually got first um, in like this beautiful pale pink colour. So I love this. This is like very me, like neutrals, um, baby pinks like nude colors and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful on holiday but i think it will also be great for this country i feel like the red you could definitely get away with wearing the red but i would just feel like that's super like bold um whereas this i think is just a little bit more muted and e more easy to wear in this country um and it's the exact same dress smocks out at the bottom and also has this drawstring in the middle so you can cinch it right in um, and it just kind of accentuates the waist a little more but it's nice and floaty over my tum the ones at the top are all from boohoo apparently so this one i got as well this one's beautifully bright but perfect again for like a summer holiday into tenerife it's a bright pink number which um as I say, is very bright and it's very bold, but I love it. And I think if you can't wear like bold colors like this on holiday, like when you can you, and a lot of my style, um, like when I'm just at home and every day is, as I say, quite neutral. And I do wear color, but not like really bold, bright colors. But when I'm on holiday, you know, I like to dress it up a little bit and wear some really nice colors. And I love this dress. It's got loads of like ruffled detailing to it at the front and things, but it's a beautiful fit. Um, it's quite like open at the front and quite like booby but it's quite like open at the front so you can see like quite a lot of your chest and another boohoo one is this beauty so again this is like a quite thin material it's not see-through at all either but um it's perfect for holidays just to throw on again this would be beautiful daytime or evening um it's obviously i put the trial clip because it's quite difficult to explain but it's basically almost like a sweetheart neckline the sleeves like puff out and then they come in at the cuff which i love a beautiful pattern it'd be amazing for any holiday really also in this country but if you're going to like greece or italy or somewhere like that then this would be beautiful another great dress slightly different but like a bold pattern and then i have this dress which is from forever new i love forever new um i have quite a lot of dresses from there it's definitely more of a higher price point but it's a lot more of like a sustainable brand um and this one is a beautiful dress i've had this now for a few years I think or I got it last summer again this one is quite like open chested um so quite booby again which gosh I didn't even think that I usually I don't, didn't think I usually wore dresses like that but it turns out that I've got quite a few now that are like that um it's like a beautiful chiffon but it's really well lined it's such a beautiful fit I think it's still available on ASOS it's not available on Forever New but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's still available on ASOS so um, try and snap it up if you if they've got your size. I think it's like 50% off as well because most of the Forever New dresses are like £100. Um, so they're definitely investment pieces. If you get them via ASOS, you can usually get like 20% off them. Um, but yeah, I think this one at the minute, last time I checked, they had quite a few sizes in stock and it was like £50 instead of... I have another one from Boohoo. Again, a lovely bright colour, like a really royal blue and nothing like i have in my wardrobe which i think is great because I, I was debating this one a little bit not because i don't like it it's quite short on me um but i am tall i'm like five ten ish so um i always find anywhere like the amount of dresses and outfits i have to go through not only for my figure but also and like curvy body but also because i'm tall is a nightmare um online shopping and shopping in general and clothes sizing 
is a nightmare as it is so if you have kind of a disproportionate body shape or not like your average standard body shape then it can be really tricky and if you add tall into the mix it's even trickier so it's a beautiful like royal blue it's got gorgeous pleated sleeves again and then it pleats out at the bottom here it's a bit of a skater dress really i think this was available in a few different colors but i thought the blue was really beautiful and a bit different as i say to anything that i have i think that makes it a bit better because it's coming up quite like bright blue but it's a really kind of like deep royal blue color and i think that goes really nice with my hair coloring and again just something different and then i do have like a black dress that i thought would be nice I wore this to one of our best friends engagement parties recently so it's perfect for basically any occasion um whether you've got when you, whether you've got like a party birthday meal date anything like that really i think this is just a great dress especially if you're mid-sized body like me and it's that lovely like kind of sweetheart square neck detailing again it's black and then it's got like gold kind of specs like threads throughout it all this is such a great dress with heels you could also probably dress it down with trainers if you wanted but also on holiday with some like sandals so that's what i'm gonna wear so yeah i thought I'd i thought i'd take that one in case we do something like really nice or like a really nice dinner one night or i just want to get a bit more like dressy and this one is a real holiday number i think this is probably the most holiday dress for me so it's a halter neck dress which again i love it's this beautiful like floral pink and purple pattern again not really something that i would like normally be like drawn to but it's from asos i saw it and when i tried it on i tried it on my mum's and my sister was there and they both really liked it and i was like actually it's really different it's perfect for holiday and um, so it's quite low back at the back but um, don't be afraid if you don't usually wear too much low back because it's elasticated so it sits quite high and also it's got this big detailing like on the bow that hangs down so not much of your back is actually out if that makes any sense because it's covered by quite a high back and also this like bow detailing for holidays i think it's great and i'm loving the idea of just wearing like different things on holiday that i wouldn't necessarily wear here probably quite a lot of days we'll just be chilling like by the poolside what actually staying we're actually staying in a room that's like a gold access room or something apparently we're going it says that we're going to have like a jacuzzi thing on our balcony but we're not sure whether that will be quite covered and chester loves the sun so if it is covered we'll obviously use it who want to be out and about like actually in the sun but when you stay in these particular rooms you get access to this like private area i don't really know what it is but obviously we'll find out which has like an infinity pool and it has like a private sunbed area so the idea is that it's easier to get a sunbed and you can just kind of chill in that area so i think we'll probably end up spending quite a lot of time there and i'll be in the pool and just i'll be on a sunbed but i've got this dress for most of like the poolside chilling so it's just this like really smocked like swing dress it's from river island via asos but this one's out of stock now i shared it over my instagram people went wild for it it was already low in stock anyway um but they do do it in other colors so they did it in a white and a like chocolate brown which is beautiful the white had already sold out by the time i'd wanted to go get it and i think they still have some sizes in like the chocolate brown one so but it's a beautiful dress and it's absolutely perfect for throwing on over like swimming costumes and things like that or if we're just going for some like um poolside lunch because they have some like poolside restaurants and like i'm not even really sure what they are to be honest because it's being so rushed i haven't really done that much research but they've got you know like just in general hotels when they have um kind of poolside places to go for lunch and things so that is what i'm basically planning on wearing ev nearly every day by the poolside so i actually have another one that i got last year i haven't tried this one on so i'm not sure how it fits but i got this last year from river island and never ended up wearing it so this might work as like a poolside dress as well um it's just like a little it's quite cute to wear out and about as well it's just like a little a um, milkmaid style dress it's got loads of different like floral patterns polka dots like bits of like lace detailing and these puff sleeves so i might try that on and see if that would work as well but that would be a really nice dr daytime dress too so i might just pop that in as well um but as i say that was last year but river island have good cover-up dresses um that are still smart enough to be worn out and about because i find that a lot of like the cover-ups um that you can get from like primark or we were in tesco looking at like the f and f clothing today and they had those more like lacy cover-ups which are beautiful i wouldn't necessarily want to eat 
like lunch at like a lunch bar in the hotel just wearing one of those some hotels don't even let you in with things like that like you have to be more covered um so i prefer just to wear like a proper dress and also if my swimming costume's soaking i might actually just want to take my swimming costume off and just put a dress on for like the afternoon so yeah that is so yeah that's the that's the plan speaking of swimming costumes i have a couple this one's older now i think this one the these two are both from um what's it called poor moi poor moi i can never say that it's such a mouthful poor moi i would say probably the best place to get swimming costumes if you have curves even if you don't have curves to be fair or not particularly curvy or um, mid-size or plus size or anything like that it's literally amazing for sewing costumes everything's such thick quality they're definitely a little bit more pricey but a lot of them are like tummy control they just make me feel like good about wearing a swimming costume which is rare so um yeah i've had this one for a while when we used to go to the gym a lot and last year we went like swimming this was what i bought for like going to the swimming pool and loved it so that was my first poor moi swimming costume and then i've also got this one which is new um which is just like a black swimming costume but it's got these quite relatively supportive cups on top um, and these frill detailing quite a lot of the poor moi swimming costumes um are like the sizing is on your cup size rather than your body size i actually ordered a few others as well which i'm not going to keep because i just don't need them and it's very similar to the other black one but i'll show you because we're here it's like twist front at the front i'm not sure which i prefer actually maybe i'll keep this one and send the other one back but this one is like twist front at the top um and it's just it's very similar it's just very classic and it's got like tummy control it's just a really nice silhouette and i think it just it definitely makes me feel confident in them so it may make you feel confident in them too and then i also ordered these little shorts which literally look tiny um but they do stretch these are from snag um which i've ordered tights from before and these are basically called their chub rub shorts now i always wear shorts under dresses because as i say i'm tall a lot of them are floaty if we get a bluster of wind and anything happens then at least i've got if i've got a little pair of shorts underneath my modesty and dignity remains but these i've never tried these before but i saw them when i was looking for some little shorts because before i've got things from like mns which is a really good place to get little shorts from but i saw these and they are specifically called chub rub shorts and obviously it helps like if you've got a pair of shorts on if you're getting hot and there's any friction or anything it can just be so uncomfortable um so yeah i thought i'd try these out and basically how i describe them is they are literally tights but they are like they're specifically made to stay cool um they're like a good decent like thickness and they're also like super stretchy and um, so even though these literally look like they were made for a five-year-old they do actually fit um i won't be trying these ones on for you i'm afraid but you just have to trust me that they are great for underneath shorts so i got a couple of pairs of those because i'll wear them with like every pair of i'll wear these with like every single pair of like every dress that i wear i basically got two nude pairs so i've got this um like lighter nude and then this like darker nude they're basically and obviously that's just a little bit of reality um of that i would always wear a pair of little shorts underneath my dress just for comfort and also remain a little bit of dignity onto shoes and this is like where i'm trying to like rein myself in not so i've really not got that many pairs so the first pair i've got are these which are my tory birch slides they are amazing if you want to invest in a pair of summer shoes that you can just wear all the time that you don't need to be too precious about but you will get so much more out of them they go with everything you can wear them on holiday you can wear them at home you can wear them pottering around you can wear them just just literally anywhere like these are the shoes that i would highly recommend they come in quite a lot of different colors this is by far my favorite color they're called the dolce de Lettre color which i love dolce de Lettre, which may or may not have sold them even more to me i got these last year they are now pretty tatty to be quite honest because i have worn them to death i love these they are incredibly comfortable i have quite a lot of pairs of like designer sandals and sliders and these are by far my comfiest pair 
They're by far the pair that I have got the most wear out of. The comfort for the look, the aesthetic of them. I love Tory Burch and yeah, I just think honestly these are amazing. So these are 100% coming with me. I do actually have a dupe of the Hermes sandals which are from June and these are a really great alternative and to be honest I hardly ever wear these which is one of the reasons why I'm even more put off getting the Hermes ones because if I don't wear these why would I wear the Hermes ones but the thing is as well is that at the minute the thing is at the minute as well is that all our shoes are stored in their boxes behind the rail and it sounds really bad but I just forget what I have because they're not like accessible in there that I forget that I have all these shoes and I just go for the ones that are already out um so I said to Chester like I need to start putting them out and then I will style them with things and pick them so I I am going to make a promise to myself to wear these more um and I'm not going to allow myself to buy the Hermes ones unless I actually wear these but these are a fantastic dupe they come in so many different colors I'm pretty sure I got these one or two years ago but I'm pretty sure they'll have them again on June they're like a staple June shoe I think they're about 85 pounds so again they're still quite expensive but they're really good quality I these like tanned ones because I just thought they'd go with so much you can tell they go really nicely with like white so if you have any like white summery dresses and things like that these will go beautifully they've got like the tiniest little heel on them and um, but they are a little bit more they're a daytime shoe I would say but they're a little bit more dressy um, and less like sports like than the sliders that I just previously showed you. I still think that they're dressy enough and you can wear them out and about, but they're definitely more of like a relaxed, comfy fit. And these are a little bit more of a sandal. So yeah, they're beautiful and I'm gonna take them with me and I'm gonna wear them. Um, I'm making that vouch for myself now, but they do these in a beautiful like baby pink color as well, which is very enticing. But seeing as I don't wear these, I probably should start to wear these first before I get another. And another pair of sandals, which again, just really easy to throw on, but a little bit dressy are these cute little ones. These are really me. I love the pearl detailing and they've got like a beautiful like blush colour underneath. These are also available in like a sage greeny colour which are again beautiful. They're from a shop called Lindsay, um, Lindsay Shoes. So I haven't worn these very much so I'm not 100% sure on the comfort but they seem to be alright from what I've worn and they'll just make a really brilliant shoe just to pop on for a nice little dinner or something with some of the dresses I've shown you and just make something a little bit different if I'm not wanting to wear the same ones every night. If I wear some of the more like dressier dresses I might want to pop, pop on like say for example the black dress I might want to pop on some heels with it. So these are my Gucci heels. And also these little mules, which were from Amazon actually, an Amazon owned brand, but they've got some really similar ones on H&M. And I think these are great. They're just really small heel, little like slippy mules on, quite strappy, so they're quite dainty. Um, and because they're nude, they literally go with everything. So, so yeah, they're all the shoes I'm planning on taking. I just don't think I'm gonna need any others. Now onto another item that I always overpack, which is sunglasses. So I am going to take a lot of pairs of sunglasses because whether I wear them or not, I just think that they're fun and they're a really fun accessory. So the first pair I'm going to take are these. I wear these all the time. They were from ASOS. I'm pretty sure they're still available. They remind me of like Celine. I've also seen some ones in LV that I love and they're very similar. These were like £12 or something ridiculous and they're just great. They're kind of a little bit cat eye black bold I think they just look really I think they just look really like a bit bougie but they're just so easy to wear they look nice on your head they don't have any of those um you know like pulley things those little eye things that get caught on your hair that literally are the worst things in the world um so yeah they're definitely coming and then I have so many pairs of sunglasses it's ridiculous um but I am gonna I've got these beautiful ones from LV which I think I'll probably take how do they look? I think I'll probably take those with me as well. I haven't worn those ones for ages actually, but they are quite, these ones again, I feel like these are probably my bougiest pair of sunglasses I own. They probably do the same, if not a very similar design, but the other ones I've seen at LV are more like chunky like this kind of design. I do really love these. I've had these for quite a few years, um, but I'm again quite precious about things like that when they're very expensive whereas i'm less precious about these and wear them all the time i've just been i've just basically got so many pairs so i'm not sure where those are those ones actually are so i've got some from porsche design which i absolutely love but i'm not sure where they are which is a problem these ones i haven't forgot i had these are they cute there's a sunglasses brand called bobu 
Um, it's on Instagram. Quite a lot of them I have from Bobu, but these ones are quite nice, like square tortoise shell. Not sure if I'll take those ones this time. I think they're quite good for like a city break. Um, oh, here are my Porsche design ones. So these sunglasses are literally amazing. If you want to um, invest in, like if you like aviator style and you want to invest in a pair of sunglasses, I would highly recommend these. So they're from Porsche Design. I think I got mine on like Sunglasses Hut or somewhere, I can't remember what it is, but it's an online place called like Sunglasses. If you just search Porsche Design Sunglasses, they'll come up. They're around the £200 mark, but I think they're around the £200 mark, but I justify it to myself because they have interchangeable lenses. So first of all, I get this pair of sunglasses, which are pretty cool because you don't often see sunglasses which have like these blue and brown like ombre lenses. I don't have anything like this. I think they really suit my hair colour. They go with a lot of my outfits and they're just a little bit less harsh than wearing like a black or a, or a brown or a black lens or anything like that. So they're unusual. They're cool. You can kind of see your eyes through them a bit more. I really like them. They're funky. But then you also get another pair of lenses as well. So you can choose... Um, there's different types of glasses and the different ones come with different lenses. So these ones in particular have, have like white uh, kind of arms of the sunglasses, is that what you call them? They have like a gold framing and then they have these blue and blue, white, brown kind of thing, ombre. So you flick this middle bit up, which I don't want to do without because otherwise the lens will come falling out. Um, and then you can insert the other and then you can insert the others. So yeah, those are the brown lenses and they just make like a really, they're quite similar now to who the brown LV ones that I have. So I just love them. The only thing is they've got those um, eye things on so they do get stuck in your hair. Otherwise I just pop them on my front like that. And they say as well that with expensive sunglasses you shouldn't put them on your head because it stretches them and ruins them. These ones are really great. I really love these ones. And as I say, they are much more, they're much more affordable and you can put your hair back. It's just, just really great as well. As I say, you can put your, you can put your hair back. They're just really great. They don't get caught in your hair. Whereas the others I absolutely love and I think they look great, but they're just nowhere near as practical. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I love the um, LV ones because they are like this kind of similar shape. But do I need them when these ones are so good and inexpensive? Probably not. So let me show you what I've done in my suitcase so far. So I've, I've packed all my bits and bobs, like rough packed it all into the suitcase. But realistically, we're going to split our clothes between my suitcase and Chester's suitcase. So that obviously if one gets lost, then at least we have some clothes. Yeah, that is pretty much all packed away. So I'll speak to you tomorrow and I'll go through my cosmetics and sort everything out. Um... And I'll have a little sort out tonight on my own because otherwise the video will be super long. And um, so I'll have a little sort out on my own, decide what I'm taking and show you the bits tomorrow. So I've literally resorted to the floor. I'm trying to get all the last minute bits sorted now and actually properly packed away. Because there's one thing like packing and knowing what you're taking and there's another thing actually packing it. Particularly when all Chester stuff needed adding to the piles. So I've done that now, I've split it up into two suitcases. It's fairly even so that, God forbid, if a case was lost, then at least we both have some stuff. The ASOS order came this morning. There's a few new bits. So we both each got a pair of sliders. It's funny because we both chose, we both went through like men's and women's obviously chose the sliders and happened to choose the exact same sliders. So yeah, we are now matching. They're, if they're not the same, they're very similar. I think mine are a little bit creamier and dresses are more white, but they are almost identical if not the same it's going to be perfect like poolside so that's the plan and he's got some too and also to take to like the water parks and things that's the plan and then i've packed this suitcase so i've got my cosmetics so this is actually my makeup and this has makeup brushes and some excess makeup bits i'm definitely not going to show you through all my makeup bits because we will be here all day but there is a particular product if i can find it amongst all these others that i wanted to show you and it's this um this one here this product glow milk by the beauty crop i've been using this for around a month or so now and it is incredible i use it every day as a liquid highlighter it's just it gives you the most gorgeous glow 
it's super natural it blends in really nicely with the makeup you can even use it over powder sparingly it's going to be the most amazing product on holiday you can put it on your chest and your legs and um, i obviously normally use it on my face but it technically could be used as an illuminator anywhere it's so so good i love all the beauty crop makeup actually their liquid blushes are incredible they're in my makeup bag each them out so this one is my favorite this is shade lychee which is amazing and then if you prefer a bit more of a softer less bright muted blush this one's also beautiful which is in shade peach i often mix those together in all honesty i think at some point i'll have them all because they are divine and i also use the vitamin babe powder so this is like relatively new i think the beauty crop makeup is incredible honestly i could do a full face of their makeup is so so good so i definitely want to try some more bits out but i do have a discount code i'll leave it on the screen i can't remember exactly what it is but i would highly recommend buying yourself some beauty crop stuff it's really affordable as well like drugstore prices of makeup but very good quality and very good results so i have so much makeup it's ridiculous it's really hard to choose things that i love and know that i will use on holiday my other toiletries over here so this is like the other bag, but I think I'm going to need another. So this has got perfumes, it's got like the travel bottles, and it doesn't have everything I need in here yet. So that's why I think I'm going to have to take another one. But we've got this. I've got this Tanologist tan, which is incredible. So it's the Insta Glow Instant Tan and an Illuminator. I use this all the time in the UK, so it's going to be fabulous on holiday as well. You literally just apply it um, with a mitt or a brush. You can buy this separate brush, which I bought, um, which is fabulous for application by Tanologist as well. And it just gives like a really quick, easy glow. Like if you've been in the pool and your tan's kind of come off, but you just want a little refresh, or you just want to be a little bit more tanned and glowing, um, you can apply it everywhere but it's great on like your legs or if you want to quickly add some tan to your chest or your arms or anything like that um, this is such a fab product um, and it's really resistant it's not like waterproof but it's um, water resistant I believe so yeah and then I've got my facial oil which is an absolute godsend from face therapy I love this one and I've got my special cream as well that I've been banging on about in this video, this skin relief cream, which is so good. And I'm probably going to need to get another one soon because this is running out. But it should be enough for the holiday. Um, so that's great. So they're like my main skincare bits. I'm not actually taking that much skincare, not as much as I would have previously. Um, but obviously I've got my perfumes, the shampoo and conditioner in here. And that'll be for Chester as well. And then I need to get my cleanser. Um, I've got my olive oil in there. And I also saw that I have this mirror, which I've forgotten I had. This was sent to me quite a while ago from, it's from Style Pro, and it's amazing. So I need to charge it up, but, or I can just charge it while we're away or whatever. It's like USB, but even if, and it's it lights up around here, but even if you don't light it up, it's still a great mirror if I want to get ready on the balcony or on the bed or anything, and I don't have access to a mirror, I thought this would be great. And then you have like the magnified one as well, which is magnetic, so you can literally detach this if you're doing like eye makeup, and um, you could use that, and I thought that's so handy. It's got a stand on the back, and it comes in a little case as well, which is just over there, it slips into like a little sleeve case thing, so it's protected. The last job I really need to sort is my hand luggage and i usually take like all my electricals chargers probably hairbrush um and that's probably about it really but i still need to pack my dyson air wrap my hair products i'm only taking three products my moroccan oil which is my holy grail product the color wow like big blow drying cream i can't remember what it's called but and um, that would be great if i need blow drying but i don't need a lot i might only wash my hair once while we're away and yeah and all the jewelry bits that i'll take i'll probably just wear i just don't need the stuff i always take it and then i get worried about it i get worried that it might get lost or um and i just end up not like using it so basically i've just got to sort my hand luggage out now i'll be using all like my hair stuff tonight i'm gonna to wash my hair um and then i'll pack those in the morning so i'm pretty much done and ready to go which is a relief and quite often i do leave it quite last minute so if anything this video has helped me get a little bit more organized and everything sorted um and to get and to get chester sorted as well because he usually 
packs for himself, leaves at really last minute and then I have to start moving all my stuff around. So it's just so much easier if I just pack. He decides what he's taking and I just pack for both of us. I'm almost all sorted, so I'm gonna end this video here. This is probably gonna be the longest pack with me in the history of pack with me videos, but would you expect anything less? from the queen of chattering probably not the amount that i've already edited this down um is madness but hopefully it's given you a really good insight into what i pack and what i'm taking away with me and some holiday inspiration and clothing and things i've added that in as well um, and maybe in future pack with me so i'll skip through the clothing a little bit quicker but um obviously i've done a bit more of like a detailed try on so you can see some of the things that i'm taking on if you have enjoyed the video please do let me know drop me a comment give this video a like and also hit that subscribe button of course as i say i'll be vlogging when we go to tenerife we are literally going tomorrow which is so exciting definitely make sure you subscribe so you can see our travel vlog and also come follow me over on instagram because when this video goes live i will be there in tenerife so i'll be doing lots more like story content and that kind of thing so definitely come follow me over there but yeah thank you so so much for watching this video really hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully i'll see you in my next video but for now all packed and ready to enjoy your holiday. See you soon.